So in last lecture we discussed about the representation of sign number and unsigned number in a 8 bit number system. And now today we will discuss about effect on carry flag when we are performing the arithmetic operation over unsigned numbers. So we know that for the 8 bit unsigned number, uh, these are the numbers D7, D6, D5, D4, D3, D2, D1, D0. Now this is a 8 bit number and in a 8 bit number for an unsigned number we can represent total 256 numbers and numbers are from 0 to 255. So if we want to represent a number which is greater than 255 that cannot be represented by 8 bit unsigned number format. For that we require more binary numbers. So now when we are performing certain addition and after the addition if we are getting a result which is beyond the storing capacity of these 8 bits then carry flag will set. Now we will take one example. Suppose we want to add 253 with 3. Then what will be the result? Result is 256. But we cannot represent 256 in 8 bit unsigned number format because in 8 bit unsigned number format we can represent a maximum 255 number number 255 magnitude so here 253 is represented by here we will write the weight 1, uh, 128 64 32 16 8 4 2 1 so 253 will be represented by 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 uh, so how much it is 128 64 32 16 8 up to here it is 8 4 12 14 16 8 20 28 10 11 12 13 14 and 1, it is 148. We want to represent 253. 48, 1. So plus 4, it is, uh, no, this is 248. So plus 4 is 252. And so we keep here 0 and keep here 1. So this will give you uh, 253. So 253 is represented by 253 is represented by 11111101. Okay. Now 3. 3 is represented by 0000 0011. So if we add these two numbers, so what is the result? 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1. 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 And 1 plus 1 is 0 and finally there is 1 carry. So we know that when a final carry is generated from a final bit, while adding that uh, these two final bits, then this uh, carry will be stored in carry flag. So carry flag is one half. And what is there after the addition? What are the eight bits? Eight bits are zero 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 zero. So we just ignore this carry flag, and you just after the addition, if you check the result, what you are getting? You are getting magnitude zero. So when we are adding 253 with 3, we are getting 0, but it should be 256. This means whatever result we are getting, 
that result is not correct how we how we conclude that result is correct or not correct we just check the carry flag if carry flag is 1 this indicates that whatever 8 bits are there after the addition that is not correct that is not exactly the result right so we will take another example if we add 52 with 1 253 with 1 so the result will be in this case 254 so this number can be represented by 8 bit unsigned number because it, it is in, in this capacity, the capacity to represent uh, 254 by these 8 bits right so if you perform this 253 is 253 is 1111 and 1 is 0000000001 add this 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1, one. this is the result and and finally there is no carry so carry flag is 0 so if uh, we first see the carry flag if carry flag is 0 this indicates that whatever 8 bits we are having after the addition that is true that is the correct magnitude of your uh, result so what this number represent this number represent 200 54 right so in this way carry flag will be affected uh, when we are considering uh, uh, when we are performing the operation over uh, uh, unsigned numbers right and when we are performing operation over signed number at that time we shall just ignore the carry flag and we have to observe the overflow flag right now for the overflow flag uh, suppose two numbers are there uh, when we are performing the addition now under what condition overflow flag will set so there are two conditions for that uh, overflow flag set under two conditions so condition number one when there is <coughs> carry generated from d6 bit and no carry so here carry generated from d6 bit and no carry is generated from d7 bit so carry generated from d6 bit and no carry from d7 bit if that is a condition then overflow flag will set there is another condition and that is condition number 2 or means if this is the condition then overflow flag will set or the next condition is if no carry is generated from d6 bit and carry generated from d7 bit and no carry generated from d6 bit and carry from d7 bit so in either of these two conditions overflow flag will set so if carry generated from here and no carry generated from here or no carry generated from here and carry generated from here this means you just observe these two bit position and carry must be generated 
from only one bit position right either carry should be generated from the d6 bit position or carry generated from d7 bit position if that is the case then overflow flag will set otherwise right otherwise otherwise overflow flag will remain zero what is the otherwise condition carry generated from here as well as carry generated from here means for otherwise condition condition number 1 carry generated from d6 and d7 bit both from the both positions from here also carry is generated and from here also carry is generated then overflow flag will remain reset or another condition if no carry is generated from d6 and no carry is generated from d7 then also overflow flag will remain reset no carry from d6 and d7 right so you just remember this if carry generated from d6 as well as carry generated from d7 overflow flag will remain zero if carry if no carry generated from this and no carry generated from this again it will remain zero but for for making this overflow flag set carry generated from d6 and no carry from d7 or no carry from d6 and carry from d7 if any of these condition meet then overflow flag will set and once the overflow flag will set it indicates that whatever result is there in 8 bits that result is beyond the storing capacity of the 8 bit number for signed number right because now we know that for a 8 bit signed number we we can represent uh, plus 127 to 0 for the positive number and the, for the negative number minus 128 to minus 1 so we can represent these 256 numbers if we are having 8 bit sign number but after the arithmetic operation if the result is beyond this storing capacity right if the suppose the after the addition if the result is if the result is plus 128 so that plus 128 cannot be represented by 8 bit binary pattern so under that condition our overflow flag will set which indicates that whatever is the result that is not true and if during certain operation if we are having minus 129 again minus 129 can't be represented in 8 bit as sign format right so in this case also your overflow flag will set so when we are considering a number as a signed number at that time we have to check overflow flag when we are considering a number as unsigned number we have to check carry flag so we will see a few examples for this unsigned, uh, for this signed number, for the signed number operation in next lecture.